Hello everyone and welcome back to a very sunny, beautiful spring day here on the homestead. It's a big day here on the homestead because today is the day where those little stinkers down there hopefully get out on pasture. We've got some errands to run this morning, we've got some chores to do around the farm, we got to get them fed, and then we're going to be stringing up electric tape for them and getting them out in the woods. goal today is going to be to give them some of the treed area that you see behind me for shade and just kind of an area to hang out and cool off and enjoy the day and then back over there you can kind of see directly maybe it's hard to see with the rock there's a few big rocks back there that's going to be where I kind of caddy corner the fence out from here it could work perfect it could not work perfect I do have to run up to the feed store I picked up a pallet of pig feed yesterday and they didn't have meat bird feed at the feed store that I went to. So I've got to go grab a couple bags of that to finish out the meat birds. Uh, turkeys are looking good. As you can see behind me, they're nice and big. They're enjoying their time in the sun. Meat birds are looking real good. These guys, three weeks left on them, as I think I mentioned in the last video. They're growing out great. We're really happy with those. Again, Murray's Jumbo Cornish. It's what we always raise until we can't. If we can't get them someday, then we'll look somewhere else. But until we can't get these, this is what we're gonna raise for meat. We're back from our errands now. Jackie's up behind me untangling the poly tape from last year. I am down here by the pigs. I'm going to start setting my T posts, which will give me the general corners of the pasture, the first pasture for these pigs. And then we'll come back and we'll use the white stepping posts. So for now, I'm gonna lead from that corner right there out to that stump, out to those rocks behind me, and then we're gonna go into the woods. Setting fence is definitely one of my least favorite parts of this whole farming thing. Like there's lots of hard stuff, but setting fence is probably the most tedious. What I'm actually doing now is using the camera. I'm setting the camera up, but I'm using it as my straight line. So from that post to here where I'm standing, there's gonna be this run. And then from here, I think, I'm gonna go through the woods, back to where the pig shelter is now, and kind of kick it in a little bit. I'll have to clear out a little bit of brush, but not too much. So once you have your T-posts in that are gonna set the, the kind of hard corners and any spots where there's gonna be more tension on the line, any dips or rises, once you've got your T-posts in, you're gonna come back through and I'm gonna go grab a whole bunch of those white stepping posts that are super cheap. You get them for like two bucks at Tractor Supply. Those come in and those are there simply just to hold the poly tape up off the ground in between your T-posts, which are gonna be your high strain points. Oh. 
Don't ever worry about using too many step-in posts because these are the things that inevitably are going to get knocked over. They're going to get broken. They're going to lean one direction. Just put as many of these things in as you possibly can. The key thing with these white posts is you want to make sure that you're following the contours of the land. So if the land dips, you put one of the white posts in there. If the land kind of goes up to a little bit of crest, you put one of those at the top of that crest. You want to follow the contour and make sure that your poly tape isn't leaving any spots where it's too high up off the ground or too low to the ground where it's going to short out. And now that I think about it, I'm going to run the tractor right out here and see if, see if I can't get it stuck. Eventually the goal is to set up permanent fencing in the woods and have paddocks that we can move the pigs in and out of, kind of move them around. But for now, the big project is getting all of this established and fenced in, and then we can move to the pig stuff. Because while it is taxing to have to set up and take down the electric fence for the pigs every year, uh, in all honesty, the pigs do just fine on it. It's not really, it's not any worse on them. It's just a little bit harder for us. Most of the fence is set now. I've got my T-posts out, I've got my step-in posts out. As I lay the poly tape out, which is gonna be the next step, I'll make any adjustments that I need to. If I see a high spot, I'll put a step-in post there to pull the poly tape down. If I see a low spot, I'll put another step-in post there to hold the poly tape up. The whole thing is really just laying out your, your plan and then making changes as, as you need to when you go through it. All right, crunch time. Uh, we've got dinner we've gotta go out to with Jackie's family tonight. And we're running up on the point in time where I've got to go take a shower. So I've got the dream team helping me now. Where are they? Uh, back there. And we're going to get this done. The fence is up. I was gonna let him out today, but we're leaving in a few minutes to go to dinner with Jackie's folks and family, just as I mentioned a little bit ago, we're leaving in a few. So I don't want to let the pigs out on this and then just leave and kinda, cause this is psychological only. Uh, one of us, either Jackie and myself, I want us to be around for when we do let them out. Jackie just so happens to be off tomorrow. So she's gonna be home all day, even though I have to work we're going to let the pigs out on it early tomorrow morning and that's how we're going to do everything here if you haven't already and you want to see more of what we're doing here on the farm hit that subscribe button down below otherwise thanks for watching and i hope you're having a great day bye